Hello everybody, I'm so glad you are here. My channel is all about art journal, mixed media painting, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. In case you don't know me, I'm Bea Grob and I love to inspire you. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year! Let's hope for a better year. Now, at least I try to bring you something fresh and exciting, I hope so. It is a brand new video hop here on YouTube. We are a bunch of 10 to 12 artists, which will have every first Friday of a month a video for you. I will have all the links down below in the description, so when you're done with my video, just hop on to the next one and when you're back on my video, you have seen all of them. Now, as I said, we are a bunch of creators and uh, we're all different in styles. We come from different regions also, so it's going to be interesting and um, you may find some new people which you didn't know that they exist and um, bring another facet of the really waste area art. I mean, there are so many different types of art, how you make art. Uh, it's just amazing. <laughs> just saying. Anyway, now for me personally, I'm not thinking I like to do challenge myself. Mm. Those who follow me since a while have maybe figured out that. So I'm not thinking I'm gonna work purely on a heavy watercolor paper for those 12 paintings I'm gonna make. It's a 140 pound or 300 square meter, 300 grams per square meter paper. I wanna do it sort of a monochromatic for like two months, like for January, February I'm gonna work with those colors I have here, which is uh, black and uh, think white, which is more transparent, and the titan white, and just a hint of a little bit of something something, so the white isn't so stark. That's the reason for this time the fluid phthalo blue. But I also gonna have a lot of mark making. This is a Nero medium, which is a uh, oil-based uh, charcoal. Those two are the standard uh, China markers, black and white. This is uh, the Stabilo Oil, which is water-soluble. Also the Derwent uh, dark chocolate is water-soluble and the graphite, again, is not water-soluble. So I, I do both of those. I don't know why I have a second pencil here. I only need one pencil. <laughs> So I do have different brushes. Uh, I have a really large one, but I have uh, and those those are flat, and I think that is called a filbert when it's slightly rounded, and a liner. And I also have like a palette knife to make mark, and I have that's a very thin blade, and that's a more thicker blade. So we'll see. All for making marks. Now I do also have some um, from the magazine some text pages and I make sure that I have text on both sides so that not a picture is showing through when I glue it on and the idea is uh, abstract landscapes that's my idea so now before I can add my collage I need to add some um, tape I use that's from the home improvement store nothing fancy I'm really lucky with this brand here, so whatever. It's I just like to have the white border around. If you want to go on, on to the end of the paper, that's fine too. But I just like the white border, so that's what I'm doing. And by the way, my papers are, are cut that way that they f fit the IKEA frames, just saying. So I'm gonna. Uh, add my tape and I'm uh, gonna go in fast forward and um, there's not gonna be a lot of explanation because with the video I hope you can make that long video so but uh, 
I'm working on classes, guys. So, <laughs> and you know, by now I did stop for the moment with the Wednesday videos, so that I have more time to offer you classes. And uh, I'm gonna have the classes. Most of them I'm gonna have as online version and also as live version as soon as the situation with the coronavirus has settled down a little bit so that I can safely have a lot of people in my studio. It actually can accommodate quite a bit of people so I'm looking forward to that too. But online is fine too, especially if there are Zoom options also, not just the videos. So I make sure that I have it really good down and now it's time for time lapse. I'm gonna step in at the end of the video and maybe explain one or the other thing that happened during my working.
Okay, I call it done. As you have seen, I had in between to change up things a little bit. Uh, the collage part doesn't match my mountains <laughs> at all. That's okay. I just use the collage as a starting point so that I don't have the naked page. So I have something I can respond to, which gives me an interaction or something like that. Anyway, I did change up things a little bit. I had to uh, fix things when I had too much paint or not enough paint. But all in all, the whole process is more intuitive. I don't have an actually reference picture in front of me. Uh, it's just in my head. The mountains I have seen, the landscape I live in. I live in a valley, so there are hills and some are more steep, some are more rounded. So the only thing that's left over is, uh, and that's something that changes dramatically uh, painting, in my opinion, I mean. Maybe you don't see it that way, but for me it really makes a difference. That's when I take off the tape. It just looks quite different and sometimes you have to be careful. Sometimes it sticks a little bit, but this time I'm pretty lucky, I think. So, I think it looks quite different. There's a minor thing here. I did lift up some of the collage, so I'm left with um, some naked paper. I mean, you obviously can't see that in the video, but if, but if you look close up, you actually could see it. So I try to match that a little bit. Let's see what we come up with. I just want to change those areas a little bit. That was too black. And now I have to be really careful. Here we go. That's much better. So I did fix it a little bit. Okay, here we are with the first video for the YouTube hop. Let us start with art. I have, as I said, mentioned, all the links down below, so hop on to the next one. And when you are back at my video, you're done the whole carousel, so to speak. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye.